Good morning all my YouTube peeps. How y'all doing this fine sunny morning in Arkansas? I stopped by the uh, pilot there and washed all the yellow bug guts off the windshield and I used my, my hose attachment from my water pump to rinse it all down. Seems to work a lot better than trying to squeegee and not get lines. Just rinse it. It works really well. Today, I'm about 20 miles from uh, the city of Little Rock, which I have camped in and stayed at and rode my Honda Grom all around. I don't think there's anything else to show of Little Rock. I even found the Little Rock. In fact, I'll link a video up top if you're watching on your computer. You can check that out if you missed it. Otherwise, I'm bypassing for the reasons of finding brand new, awesome, quirky stuff that I have not shared with you before. That's the way we do that. So, new adventures beginning today in Arkansas. Here we go. There is a train going by on the other side of the road over here, but I'm in Sherwood. And you guys see all the uh, leaves and changing colors? Well, this is only unique for me because of the way I came down through California and Arizona in the fall, you know, and it was still 110 degrees. So I didn't really get to see all these pretty colors yet. This is the first time I've seen fall and it's winter. Well, next month. But check out this old restored gas station. The Round Top Gas Station operated until 1972 and it was a filling station starting in 1936. Now, apparently, the Sherwood Police substation here for the city. But this was a gas station and there's where you get your gas. Pretty darn quirky and original. <laughs> this tiny little town. I just, I love the color of the leaves over there. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. I love back roads. I love Arkansas. Oh, and the current owner of this claims that Johnny Cash, Conway Twitty, and Elvis all stopped here to fill up for gas here in Arkansas. That's pretty cool. Catman Jax, what do you think of that clean windshield, buddy? Yeah, man. Look at all those leaves, Jax. Isn't that crazy? Oh, man. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That sign says 10-8 ahead. Ah, uh, that ain't gonna work. Whew. Good eye. You don't gotta pay a lot, you just gotta pay attention. Good eye there, Eric. It would have been a can opener on old Miranda there. It wants me to go up here and make a U-turn. I'm not going to make it under that bridge, Google. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It just keeps redirecting and telling me to go back. I can't go back. It's not possible. Uh, I do have my co-pilot app, which I probably should be using now that we're getting into the low clearance section of the United States. I'll make that switch tomorrow. Yeah, just keep my eyes peeled and be careful today. <laughs> Can you say autumn, y'all? Look at these tree colors. Oh, we got a swamp down to our right and our left. We're surrounded by swampiness. But, oh, it is beautiful. The leaves are still coming down right now as the wind's blowing. It's about time. I love autumn, fall. The crispness in the air. Crispness in the air. Yeah, I guess we're getting back on the highway, actually. For a little bit, not for very long. But to get to where we gotta go. That's the way we gotta do it. Well, I found a local spot to eat. I don't know if it's gonna be any good, but I'm here in Bald Knob, Arkansas, and we got the Bulldog Restaurant advertising spaghetti in the window. They're open for lunch, so I'm gonna go try it out. Just gonna feed Jax first his kibbles, and then we'll head on inside. Got my order in. They have a spaghetti lunch special. We're doing some pasta. <laughs> How does that look? Mm. No, no, you wouldn't like it. Today it's delicious. That was fantastically delicious. Much better choice than a fast food chain. Am I right? Am I right? And I only got a few little spaghetti splatters on my shirt. You probably can't see from there, but 
Uh, it was not a perfectly clean experience for me. Now let's get back on the road, say goodbye to Bald Knob, Arkansas. I don't know why that makes me smile and laugh. It's not even inappropriate. It just sounds inappropriate, doesn't it? Bald Knob. <laughs> Eric, Eric, maturity, maturity, Eric. Just taking a little break here in Walnut Ridge, Arkansas to stretch my legs from all the driving. And, uh, but does Arkansas know something about music and blues and guitar riffs? Is it possible? Yeah, we're partying on Highway 67 here and get a load of this. Rock and roll the Kavanaugh Park with the big old amp here. It's huge, it's taller than I am. It's actually a really cool park. They got all these musical legends like the King, Elvis Presley. You can push a button and uh, hear some stories from some of the classic music artists of our time. And Johnny Cash over here. But <laughs> how do I show you this? I'm gonna have to go get the drone because I am standing on the world's largest guitar, y'all. It may be part of their, their sidewalk here at the Amtrak station, but I'm walking on the face of a huge guitar the largest in the country with the strings made of looks like steel but uh yeah the biggest six string in the world right here in walnut ridge arkansas who would have known <laughs> i love it very quirky and very nice little tune to musical fame here in arkansas and a nice little park Let's go walk around a little more before we get back on the road. I'm actually finding lots of neat looking food options in this small town of Walnut Ridge, but I don't really need any food. Maybe a snack, an ice cream or something. But something has caught my eye over here. All right, where's all my Beatles fans? This is Beatles Park here. Uh, maybe something over here will tell me what the significance of the Beatles and the Abbey Road look has to do with this city. The uh, metal sign over here indicates that the Beatles visited in 1964. They had a concert over in Dallas and then they stopped over here. <laughs> okay, so they're, they're pretty proud of it. And uh, that's, a, that's a pretty cool design by the artist. Very three-dimensional and shiny, glossy, uh-huh. Not a speck of graffiti. Man, am I happy to be out of the big cities where artwork like this is kept pristine. And, oh, maybe that's why. It's not really advertised here, but they do have eyes in the sky. That's just the world we live in today. Otherwise, people will probably take advantage of it, but, uh, yeah. And not to be outdone by the Beatles Abbey Road, but right next door, the Dark Side Store. Although it's not very dark at all, it's very colorful, in fact. Uh, oh. Uh, oh, there's their hours. They are only open Wednesday through Saturday. I was going to try to buy some force, Darth. Okay. <laughs> they visited one time. <laughs> we all live in a yellow submarine. Abbey Road Southwest. Otherwise, a very small, quiet town, besides the Beatles rolling through once. Don't hold me to it. Maybe they did more than just pass through because every storefront, this one's called The Studio and British Invasion of the Rock and Roll Highway. However, every door's closed and I don't know what it is. So maybe they have a bigger influence here. I don't have my phone with me. I didn't bring it. I just brought the uh, Canon camera with me to walk around. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'll either find out later or you guys will yell at me in the comments. Eric, they perform this crazy show. Cool. But I've got a campground I gotta get to, or at least a campground I was eyeing. It's not a, not a free campground, but it's time to dump my tanks, top off my water and everything. We'll, uh, go a little farther. We're going north now, huh? Yeah, north. Okay, we'll go a little farther north. Is that a hot air balloon up there? No, it's a water tank. That's awesome. <laughs> That's great. 
Before we head out of Walnut Ridge, though, a local there told me about something quirky we got to stop at up by the airport up here. So, see if I can find a place to park Miranda and we'll go, we'll go take a look, see if we can get some pictures. I've been to a couple big airports in my life, so I know what, you know, airport food expectations are going to be. <laughs> this may be better than what you're thinking, though. See the wing sticking up over there? In the, in the front of a plane right here? <laughs> yeah, I think so. It's not a crash-landed plane. Although it looks strange with uh, no front wheels right there. It's almost a complete plane. Except for the lack of wing where it's cut right there. But this is supposedly a restaurant. And I don't know how to get in there. Or I don't know if they're open. Just talked with a uh, worker here. The, the plane restaurant is closed. Currently only open on Saturdays and Sundays. I am striking out a lot today. Uh, even though we're not even that far north, it would still be a good idea for me to just not do anything on Mondays. Mondays are terrible for trying to film because like everybody wants to close on Monday. Urgh. Anyway, there's the uh, airport there. We got about nine miles to get up into Pocahontas, Arkansas, and uh, we'll get parked and uh, possibly take the motorcycle. Let's go up a little motorcycle ride and go explore town. I'll let you know when I get there. All right, I'm all set up, all hooked up as much as I want to be. Uh, you know why I don't mind paying $10 to camp here? Because it was time to dump anyway, and at Pilot, even with my card, it's $7.50 just to dump. So here, I have power for the night, even if it's 30 amp. I filled up my water tank already and put the hose away, because I don't care. And on the way out, the dump station will walk by it here in a minute. So $10 for the city to offer this, you know, an actual approved spot to camp with, with partial hookups, totally worth it for the, for the city. I'd rather pay them than pilot, you know? Look at that kitty in the window. Let me out, Dad, let me out. I got the bike down so we can take that out in just a minute. And my neighbor over here, he's got a Harley and he's driving a Tioga Arrow. <laughs> Pretty cool. But yeah, let's go walk around and see what all this has to offer. In case you find yourself passing through Pocahontas, Arkansas, you can pause that and look at the rules. And here's where you get your slip and drop it into the box there. This is the dump station. Just making sure it's open. Yes. You can just lift it. It's not locked down there. Little tip for my RVing friends that have an RV with leveling jacks. In order to fully drain both your gray and black tank, what I do, if it's a partial slope like this, I pull up to the dump and then I bring up just the passenger side uh, leveling jacks. So the RV goes, Deet. we're leaning towards the dump station. Make sure you completely empty it out. Just a little tip there for you. Let's go look at the river. They also have a boat launch. If you're here at this park and you're with your boat here in Pocahontas and uh, just around the river bend. I'll let myself out. <laughs> oh, we got the uh, Black River out here in Arkansas. So, yeah, I wanna go uh, grab a snack and see what the town of Pocahontas has to offer since we're here. I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna take Roxy out, go for a little ride. I'll put on some long pants and a coat though. <laughs> a, little, a little chilly, it's only 60 degrees today. And uh, with the wind, it feels a little chillier, but I'm still sporting shorts and a t-shirt right this second. Nice park though, good end to the day, right? Yeah. All right, we find ourselves here in Pocahontas, Randolph County, and I am looking for the coolest thing in this town. I found it? I, I found it. I don't know, we'll, uh, we'll see what you guys think. Uh, where I'm camping over there on the Black River, about a half mile away from the courthouse here, sits a rock. Actually, in 1859, this 10,000 pound meteor hit uh, the Black Lake out there. And so they took the meteor out of the uh, Black River and brought it here to the courthouse. Put a little fence around it to commemorate the, the meteor. See, there's the description. It looks like a normal rock, but apparently it's really, really heavy. It's not like a joke or anything. It's the coolest thing in Pocahontas. Now, actually, I think my campsite over there by the river is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
You know, I have enjoyed a few really nice, sunny, pretty, comfortable days here in Arkansas since being here. But a look ahead at the forecast, there's no way around the rain coming. So uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do. I may just travel or I may just park it. But you'll find out in my next video how I survive the rain. I'll put the bike back on the rack and put the cover on it, keep it from rusting. Uh, all right, guys, have a good night. Jackson, I'll see you on the road again from Arkansas in a few days. Bye, guys.